Hello friends, in this video we will see the box compounds. What are box compounds? At the time of manufacturing of cement, the various constituents of cement such as lime, alumina, silica, they react with each other and form complex compounds and these compounds are called as box compounds. And why they are called as box compounds? Because they were introduced by R.H. Bock. <music> So what are box compounds? At the time of manufacturing of cement, when the cement constituents are burnt in kiln, the various compounds or we can say complex compounds are formed. What happens? At the time of burning of various constituents of cement, they react with each other and various complex compounds are formed. These complex compounds are first tricalcium silicate, second dicalcium silicate. Next is tricalcium aluminate, and tetracalcium aluminoferrite. So these are the four complex compounds that are formed at the time of reaction between the various constituents of cement in the burning process of cement so we will see one by one what are what is tricalcium silicate what is the function of it dicalcium silicate tricalcium aluminate and tetracalcium aluminoferrite first book compound is tricalcium silicate second is dicalcium silicate Next is tricalcium aluminate and the last one is tetracalcium aluminoferrite. Now we will see its chemical formulas. The first is this, see this, this is tri. So we for tri means three. I will use three. Calcium is CaO. This is tricalcium and silicate we can say write it as SiO2. So the chemical formula will be tri calcium silicate that is three CaO and SiO2. Similarly, for dicalcium silicate, as we know that di is two, the rest of the things will be same. For calcium, I will write it as three. 2CaO and silicate will be SiO2. Now it has tricalcium aluminate. Tri, as I told you, it is 3. Calcium will remain same, CaO. Now it has aluminate. So aluminate is given by Al2O3. And the last is tetracalcium aluminoferrite. Tetra means 4. Calcium, we know that it is written as CaO. Alumino, we also know that it is written as Al2O3 and this is ferrite. Ferrite is nothing but Fe2O3. So these are the chemical formulas for the various box compounds. First is tricalcium silicate, it will be written as 3CaOSiO2. Dicalcium silicate, it will be written as 2CaOSiO2. Next is tricalcium aluminate, it will be written as 3CaOAl2O3. And last is tetracalcium aluminoferrite, it will be written as 4CaOAl2O3 and Fe2O3. Now, we will see the percentages in which they are present in the cement. The various percentages or concentration of these various compounds are first, it is present 60 to 70 percent in the cement, it is 10 to 20 percent, it is 5 to 10 percent, and it is 3 to 8 percent. The tricalcium silicate is present 60 to 70 percent. Now, dicalcium silicate it has percentage in between the range 10 to 20 percent, and 
next is 5 to 10 percent and last for CaO8203 Fe2O3 will have percentage 3 to 8 percent now we have to see one by one its functions so I will not write all the time this detailed name or the chemical formula so we have certain for short symbols for it so now we will see one by one what is the function of these compounds in the cement and at the time of taking these functions I will not write down the full name or the full chemical formula so I will be using abbreviations for this so the for tricalcium silicate the abbreviation is C3S as I told you tri is 3 so for calcium I will be using C and for silicate I will be using S so the abbreviation will be C3S now for dicalcium silicate you can say it as C2S this C will denote calcium this 2 will be for di and silicate I will write it as S similarly this will have C3A and for this I will be writing it as C4AF that is tetracalcium aluminoferrate that is C4AF so these are the short abbreviations that I will be using now first type is C3S the first compound is C3S and and what is the function of this C3S it hydrates very rapidly and as it hydrates rapidly it has high heat of hydration what is heat of hydration it is nothing but liberation of heat from the cement and it it is very high in percentage and it is responsible for early high strength and it is also responsible for early setting of cement so you can have one example of this type of cement as rapid hardening cement as the name says rapid hardening cement will have early setting time and it will have early high strength and the heat of hydration will also be very more in rapid hardening cement so this was the first compound that is C3S it hydrates very rapidly it has very high heat of hydration its early strength is very high and it is also responsible for early setting of cement and you can have one example of this as rapid hardening cement the second compound is C2S it is very opposite to C3S as I told you in C3S it hydrates very rapidly similarly for C2S it hydrates at a very low rate at a very low rate of hydration now so the heat will be generated will also very less and the heat of hydration will take from 7 days to even 1 year of time slot and we can have one example of this type of cement as low heat cement in low heat cement what happens it has less heat of hydration or low heat of hydration its hydration process even lasts for one year also the next compound is tricalcium aluminate that is C3A and it is responsible for strength this compound is also responsible for strength but in the first 24 hours it will give very less or no strength but ultimate strength it can give and its rate of heat of hydration is also very high
and the last compound is C4AF that is tetra calcium aluminoferrite. This is comparatively inactive. This is inactive, but it may react with gypsum. And as I have seen before, that gypsum will retard the setting time. So, therefore, by using the C4AF, it will help in reducing the initial setting time of cement. And there is also one function of this C4AF. This will act as a flux. And as I have told you before, flux is nothing but it will reduce or lower the melting time of or melting temperature of various constituents of cement. So this is the function of C4AF. So these were the box compounds. Thank you.